This Saturday, the National Museum of Mexican Art will host a special night of music, art, and dancing for older folks and their caregivers. To find out more, I talked to Elvaro Obregón from AARP Illinois. So danzón is, it's a type of music that came out of Cuba. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a fusion between European influences as well as some of the African influences. Hugely popular uh, in, in Cuba. Okay. And then it, you know, went to other places such as Mexico uh, primarily, but also other place, other Latin American places, including Puerto Rico and, uh, and such. So tell me a little bit about the event then. Oh, it's a great event. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really excited because um, the National Museum of Mexican Art, mm -hmm. you know, they do great work mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, year, year round. Um, and one time we were having a conversation about um, how can we create something for older adults? And, uh, you know, we talked about art classes, but then we also talked about, wow, what about Danson doing something, an homage to Danson. Yeah. So um, there is a movie from the golden age of uh, cinema uh, called Salon Mexico, and that was filmed in Mexico, and the whole basis, the whole music around it is Danson. Oh, cool. And so we created this event called Noche de Danson, where people can come out and dance the night away. I love that. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. But if there's anybody like me, I have two left feet. So what if you can't dance? Don't worry. We have okay. um, <laughs> we have Inspiración Danzonera. They are a um, they're a group of uh, older adults uh, that are based in the little village community. That they they do classes. Uh, they teach uh, danzón, and so at the beginning of every event. Um, around Danzón, mm -hmm. they will be there and they're going to teach you how to make the right move. So, you know, don't worry, I'm with you. Sometimes I'm uh, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I love the music and I love moving to it, but yeah. I'm not necessarily good at it. So that's right, a good thing. Right. <laughs> that so happens to us. This yeah. event is also for not just participants, but their caretakers as well, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things, right, so caregiving is one of those uh, uh, things that could be really difficult for mm -hmm. people, oh, right? For sure. I mean, I I'm a caregiver, my 91-year-old mom and my 83-year-old uncle. Um, and so it, it's, it's sometimes a lot of pressure and everybody needs uh, a, a day out mm -hmm. for themselves. But also, sometimes you want to bring, you know, your, the person that you're caring for uh, with you and you can have fun. And so an event like Noche de Danzón is a great place and a great way to have fun together and not just think about, you know, the doctor's the appointments day. and everything mm -hmm. like that. So. And you guys are really trying to make this event intergenerational, correct? Oh, absolutely. And that's one of the beauties of it, right? So, you know, music knows no boundaries, mm -hmm. right? If you like music from another country, sometimes you find yourself tapping to, to, to something. Um, but it also, you know, doesn't know, you know, generations. And so one of the beautiful things about Danzón in particular is that you see oftentimes people, you know, of different age groups. So sometimes it's... Y you'll see and your heart will melt when you see a grandmother with her uh, grandson so uh, or a great grandson sometimes uh, dancing danzón together and uh, and those are the things that really uh, memories are made of right and it's passed on from one generation to the next and I'm so happy to see that the next generation is embracing it. Yeah, and it's so nice to get the families together uh, and, and really to celebrate instead, like you were talking about, doing the day in and day out. Yeah, and so w in, in Mexico, when when people go out to dance danzón, you know, they, they put on their suits, um, or in the coastal cities, I'm wearing today a, uh, a guayabera, and this is very traditional from uh, some of those coastal states like Veracruz. Mm. And, um, and so you will see in some of those states people coming out and they are dressed, you know, just immaculately. To the nines. Yep, to the nines. And they're out there and it's just so beautiful to see. And um, at Noche de Danzón you will see some people uh, even shining their shoes right before they go in. Oh. So they are making sure that everything is perfect and that they look perfect. And you've got this one, but hopefully another one this year too, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So earlier this year, we did one in the summer. Okay. And um, it was such a huge hit. Before the night was over, people were, were coming up to us and telling us, you need to do this again. When are you going to do it again? When are you going to do it again? So we decided to do um, a second one. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to continue this and hopefully um, 
you know, when, when it's nice and warm again, we'll be doing it and, you know, people can wear their guayaberas or wear their best, you know, three-piece suit and come out and dance. Stand by. All right, for more information about Saturday's event, you can scan the QR code on your screen. Oh, oh there it is. is. Or uh, visit aarp.org slash il.